Hey yo guys, how's it going? Tally here and today I am bringing you round 2 of the Reddit non-meta tournament. I of course am playing Heroes and my opponent is playing World Chalice, which is going to be a fun one. Now, before we dive into the match, guys as always make sure to like the video if you like it. Let's get this to 20 comments and 30 likes to get the next round video up early. And of course if you want to comment but you don't really have much to say you can always say hashtag for the algorithm and always guys if you want to join team tally then the subscribe button is down below now let's take a look at the match now here we are in game one of match two let's look at the hands they have opened up i don't know i assume is this a good hand for this deck i'm not too sure the unexpected die is good the crusader draco is good exodius that is actually low-key one of my most favorite cards um, and these kind of look kind of bricky us, on the other hand, have an absolute god hand. Three negates, didn't even have to do anything. And we have a hero lives, so we've got a dark law too. So let's see how this plays out. Pretty much exactly how you'd think it does. So we hit that hero lives, we get the shadow mist out, and we go for the mask change. So we now have three negates and a dark law ready to banish everything and rip a card out their hand. So they go for the unexpected die. By the way, I just want to point out, they summon Space Mambo. I almost conceded just to give the respect to the Space Mambo, but I didn't. So we now have an Honest Neos in hand, we have a Dark Law on field, and several negates. Now they're going to try and do things which is pretty admirable, but we're going to start ripping cards out of their hand. They try and get rid of the Dark Law, but we have the impermanence for it, and they try and go for the World Chalice, which would allow them to search out, but we have the Strike to prevent that leaving them with just an Al Mirage. I think this one's going to go pretty well for us. We have the Rota. The Rota is going to get us the good boy Stratos. Stratos is going to get us the even better boy Liquid Soldier. From here, we're going to go into Malicious Bane. And that's pretty much game. With the amount of damage we've got on field here, they really can't play through that because that's an OTK. Very redundantly, but very quick game. Okay, so now we're in game two of match two and looking at the hands. Um, our hand is okay. It could be better, but we, we are going second, so we do get to draw a card. Looking at their hand, that's really uncomfortable. I just have no words. So let's see how this plays out. So they're going to set a call by the grave, which is fine. And of course, of all the cards we could have drawn, we do not draw any other hero. Which, by the way, drawing any other hero likely would have been an OTK right there. But we're going to continue to play it out. Okay, so we just do a little bit of damage. You know, if they're not doing much, then we're fine. Now, this effect failure is going to come in handy in just a second, and you'll see why. But that acid is going to try and pop everything on the field. Unfortunately, the Kyoto Waterfront I didn't read, so that doesn't get popped. Called by the Grave just gets rid of Liquid Soldier. Now, they try and go for Parallel Exceed. I hit it with the Effect Failure, not knowing they had two more Parallel Exceeds in hand. So, that was a bad play on my part, but it's fine. Everything's fine. They have the Cerberus, and we have the Impermanence as per usual, because we have the Godly Hand opening up. Double Impermanence two games in a row. They now have a Gamma Seal, which could be pretty deadly for us, but I think what they want to do is set it up so that we get a Kaiju, they get the Gamma Seal for effectively infinite negates. So comes back to us again we don't really have much so we're just going to chip in for a little bit of damage this was a fun game in the chat and um, but it was really awkward to actually play out now in our draw we get stratos we get the god boy and he is going to effectively seal the deal for this game now we are going to faris with shadow mist into increase and a liquid lad so here we go we're going to polymerization our liquid lad and our faris into sunrise get out our medical fusion for our absolute zero best boy in the whole wide world go in get a little bit of popping going on and that's game that was a quick one guys let's take it to the outro guys that is the video thank you very much for watching as always if you like it give it a like and if you love it give it a share and tell everyone you know about team tally today and of course if you want to comment but you don't have much to say then just leave hashtag for the algorithm down in the comments. As I said before, let's get this to 20 comments and 30 likes and we will get the next video up early. Guys, as always, you have been amazing. I have been Tally. I will catch you all later. Bye.